Yeshayahu, Isaiah 14. For Yahuwah will have mercy on Eth Yaakov, and will yet choose Yashadael, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Yaakov, and the people shall take them, and bring them to their place. And the house of Yashadael shall possess them in the land of Yahuwah for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in the day that Yahuwah shall give you rest from your sorrow and from your fear, and from the hard bondage wherein you were made to serve, that you shall take up this proverb against the king of Babel, and say, How has the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. Yahuwah has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger, is persecuted and none hinders. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at you, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since you are laid down, no feller is come up against us. Sheol from beneath is moved for you to meet you at your coming. It stirs up the Raphaim for you, even all the chief ones of the earth. It is raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. They shall speak and say unto you, Are you also become weak as we? Are you become like unto us? Your pomp is brought down to Sheol, and the noise of your vials. The worm is spread under you, and the worms cover you. How are you fallen from heaven, O Helel, son of the howling morning? How are you cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of El. I will sit also upon the mount of the assembly in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like El Elyan. Yet you shall be brought down to Sheol, to the sides of the pit, that they see you, rather, they that see you shall narrowly look upon you and consider you, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof? that opened not the house of his prisoners? All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, every one in his own house. But you are cast out of your grave like an abominable branch, and as the raiment of those that are slain thrust through with a sword, that go down to the stones of the pit, as a carcass trodden under feet. You shall not be joined with them in burial, because you have destroyed your land and slain your people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, says Yahuwah Sevoth, and cut off from Babel the name, and remnant, and son, and nephew, says Yahuwah. I will also make it a possession for the bittern, and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the basam of destruction, 
says Yahuwah Sevaoth. Yahuwah Sevaoth has sworn, saying, Surely, as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. As I have purposed, so shall it stand. That I will break Ashur in my hand, rather land, and upon my mountains tread under him foot. Then shall his yoke depart from off them, and his burden depart from off their shoulders. This is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth, and this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations. For Yahuwah Savoth has purposed, and who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? In the year that King Ahaz died was this burden. Rejoice not, whole Pelasheth, because the rod of him that smote you is broken. For out of the serpent's root shall come forth a cockatrice, and his fruit shall be a fiery flying serpent. And the firstborn of the poor shall feed, and the needy shall lie down in safety, and I will kill your root with famine, and he shall slay your remnant. Howl, O gate, cry, O city, you whole Pelasheth are dissolved, for they shall come from the north a smoke. Rather, for there shall come from the north a smoke, and none shall be alone in his appointed times. What shall one then answer the messengers of the nation? That Yahuwah has founded Sion, and the poor of his people shall trust in it.